Uh, fighting on home soil, first off, how much does that mean to you to be able to fight on a big pay-per-view show like this, but here in the UK? Huge, you know, this arena was where I decided I wanted to be a fighter. I went and watched Ricky Atten cost to you when I was about 15, 16 years old, you know, and that's when I thought I want to be a fighter. So to fight here, it's unbelievable, you know, I, I couldn't think of anything better. And uh, the UK traditionally is thought of as a a nation of boxers or strikers. Your skill set is more linked towards the, the sort of the jiu-jitsu aspect of the sport. Yeah, for sure. um, explain a little bit of that to us and how you got a passion for, for the grappling arts. It was just my gift. You know, um, it was just what I, I was good at. You know, when you start mixed martial arts, you, you, you'll find you have strengths. And, and it's just what, what I excel in. You know, I, I excel in jiu-jitsu. I excel in the ground game. I excel in wrestling. Um, but you know, I, I have all, I, I can strike, but I, I just have, have never needed it. Um, but obviously, my, my love, is, my love is from everything is leg locks. You know, and I, I came to the UFC to prove I was the best leg locker in the world. Now, what I've decided is, I just want to win fights. You know, and. I, I've been so determined to get leg locks, so determined to do certain things. When I've got, I've got a whole portfolio of moves, but I don't even use, you know. And I, you know, no one's even seen me strike, or no one's even particularly seen me wrestle. But you only need to look at my previous fights to see I can do things. But I don't do it because I'm an idiot. And this fight, what I decided, you know, is I, two fights ago I fought Anthony Burchek. I beat him in a minute and six seconds. Obviously, he went. And then went on to beat George Soto, who did five rounds with TJ Dillashaw for the belt. You know, and after that, I went and fought a Mexican who I should have absolutely battered. And I was so determined he was greased and so upset I couldn't get a leg lock. He's got a neck in, choke him, you know. And I, I chose not to do those things. Because I know you were really, really upset at the conclusion of that fight. Yeah. Um, that's obviously meant you've taken stock, you've taken a step back and had a look and you're sort of changing your approach a little bit, being a little bit more, a little bit more uh, well-rounded with, uh, yeah, with you the know, skills you've got. Yeah, yeah you know, I mean, I, I have to look at my fights and no one's ever beat me, I beat myself. You know, which is, if someone had beat me, if someone had took me down, dropped me on my head, hit me with an over and right, you know, I'd look at it and think, but the problem is, I haven't been beaten by a better fighter, I've been beaten by my own stupidity, which is frustrating. And you know, I haven't commented on whether my opponent was greased after the fight, you know, I've kept my mouth shut and I, I intend to keep, keep my mouth shut about it. What I will say is, i worked my whole life to get here and to throw it away like it's a football match, complaining at the referee for three and a half minutes. It ain't gonna help me win a fight, it's just gonna get my head knocked off and I ain't gonna get my win, you know? So, it, to be honest, it doesn't matter if I go out tomorrow, on, on Saturday, sorry, and my guy's legs feel like butter, I'm gonna choke him like a chicken, you know? I'm gonna pull his arm off, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to win. And, and that's that's what I need to do out there. I just need to win, not prove I'm the best leg locker in the world. If that comes, that comes. If not, I'll, I'll enter one of the grappling competitions after this, you know. But I need to be stop being so determined to prove I'm the best leg locker in the world and I need to win fights. I need to prove I'm the best fighter. And Rory Carl, with, a, with an awful lot of British fighters here, a uh, chap sitting to your right is a bit of a legend in terms of British martial art. How inspiring is it to see people like Michael Bisbee and people like Brett Pickett still going strong at this stage in their career? Bisping's Bis a, a legend to me, you know, he, he, he really is, um, I know him a little bit personally, um, I, I, I've been like, he's done some seminars at my gym and my coach for a little point before I moved to America, coached he, he, he's a little like Callum at the time, he was only like 9 or 10 years old and when Bisping was ever working in, in, the, in the gym, I'd try and sneak in and, and watch what he was doing, you know, at the time I think I'd just turned professional, so obviously I wasn't much used to make at the time, but I used to just watch him with his, he used to bring a, a, a black belt over called Lunchbox from America, and I used to watch what they were doing, and I used to copy it, and he once said to me, to get good at this sport, all you need to do is drill, 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 and drill. And I copied that, you know, it was very, very good to be around. And uh, looking at the fight that you've got this weekend, how do you, given what you said about opening the door to 
various ways of winning the fight. What do you think is the most likely route to victory for you? Right. I don't care, man. I genuinely don't care. You know, in football terms, I don't care if I win by a tapping from two yards or a screamer from 45 yards. And that's the way I have to think because I, I go out there and I want to wow people and I want to hit all these extravagant submissions and spin round on my head, which I have done in the past, you know. But if it comes, it comes. I, I have to just be, do you know what? I'm going to go out there, I'm going to fight, I'm going to hurt him, and I'm going to, I'm going to win the fight. And I can't allow myself to think, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that because I end up so hell bent on I am going to do that. And it, it's just, it's just not what allows me to perform well. You know, I have to allow myself just to keep calm and flow because when I do that, it's, it's, it's special. When I don't, it's retarded. It seems that like you're in a good space going into this one. I hope it yeah. goes very well for you. Thank you.